Okay, so I just wanted to pop on here and show you what I'm doing. I have my cup already on my turner waiting to apply my decals. It has been epoxied, one layer, not too thick. It's been sanded down. It's all red, fine glitter. Um, I use 150 sandpaper. So that's how it gets to this and give you a closer look of it so yeah it looks like this but it's been epoxied already and I'm gonna put my uh, put my picture and I'm gonna put my little quote on there and my name and once I do all of that I'll put my another layer of epoxy and see um, I should probably put two more layers of epoxy on there so that's what I'm doing um, I just wanted to pop on here and show you um, that image and what I did with it I actually just literally colored in the image okay so I wanted to stop what I was doing and record this so you guys can see and work along me and get the understanding of how to do this um, I've seen a lot of different cups, a lot of different ways, but I'm learning how to do this this way. So, why not share with you all? Um, I actually printed this out off a regular printer, and I took it, and I am going to cut it out. Um, what I did before I cut it out, I colored it. I colored it in the desired color I wanted, which wasn't I didn't have the right brown I wanted for me so I actually made a brown with the three different colors light brown regular brown and mahogany but whatever color you want whatever color you have I use color pencils I believe you can use crayons as well I'm not sure though but I, I believe you can just like color pencils um, I sprayed it with my clear show you I sprayed it with my ultra clear two times I sprayed it four to five times in between let it sit for like 15 minutes until it feels dry and then you do it again I let it sit for longer than that like I walked away for about an hour and overnight so this is like four to five times spray um after two sprays, though, that's when I applied my glitter. Uh, also, when I when I colored it, I uh, used a little bit of marker to darken her hair just a little bit darker. So it can just kind of pop. But um, once I uh, did the spray paint twice, then I came with the Mod Podge. I mixed it with uh, shiny white glitter. That you can get from Walmart. I think that's where I got it from. It's only about $2 for a whole little pack. So I used that shiny glitter and my my Podge glue here. And all the things I use in here, I'll just put in the description box just to help, let you, help you out. But like I said, you can use a regular printer. I have one, but I actually went to the library and printed this out. I printed this out and um, did all this to it, the image, and then I'm getting ready to cut it out. So I pre I just started and I stopped so I can show you what I'm doing. But it's just that simple. You can actually cut like four ways so that you can get. This is going to be the most taskful of it is trying to get these little details. But it's, it's not that hard. You just have to be very steady with it so this is what I was talking about and I didn't show you me cutting it because it's just tedious because with it being so so detailed right here you'll be sitting here watching me cut a little bit too much and it'd be like uh no <laughs> but I cut the area around here all type of like eyeball shapes to get that look i believe you can even cut this off if you want and just leave it regular like a you know a little puff but i think i want the details because it just 
3D the image more. So once it sits on top of the cup, just kind of pop out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave mine, but um, you want to have a, a good steady hand and just pay close attention because even still you might gonna nick it a little bit and it ain't gonna be perfect, but it'll be nice. And if you can, you don't trust yourself. Um, like I had another cup that I did personally. And I actually got like three or four copies of the same image just in case. So you can actually do that. This is my only copy. So fingers crossed. We are going to get this done perfectly with no problems. Um, I'm going to cut the rest of the image out. And then I'll probably come back once it's all on the cup. And it's turning. So you can see how I did just using regular printout again from a computer. And then you can change the image up and like give it a more life to it of what you want and detail it. And if you can see closely, see how that glitter just pops through the black. So it's puffed, but it got like a little glitter effect. Just a little touch as well as the eyes. I put let me steady this can you see see I put glitter in the eyes too very detailed so it can kind of like pop out my color pencil started going crazy on me but I made it work so that's why her face is like that it just gives it a nice little shine and it's gonna look cute on her cup right here sitting here patiently waiting so I'll be back once it's all done. I just want to show you how the image will look. See how it gets that like good 3D effect? Yep, how it will look once you do a whole cutout. But again, you can definitely cut these little edges off and try to get a lot of that white out. But I just, I'll keep it. It's okay. All right. okay the big reveal let me first off say excuse me for sounding muffled but i have my mask on i'm getting ready to epoxy my creation for my door just tilt it but this is what i got the final result my image on the cup let me just say this process was not easy well it's not hard but um oh sorry i sound muffled i'm getting ready to put my epoxy on um the image wasn't extremely hard but it was just again tedious with these edges i had to double layer my podge and make sure it was tacky to the point where I had to press my own fingers against it like no gloves and nothing I had to literally have to push it down and you want to start from I would say the middle and kind of move 
the glue outward just so you can secure it and on top of that do layers of, especially around these edges here because you don't want to have any like uh sections where it might be open so that the epoxy can get under it and then it'll lift it so we don't want to do that um i just i don't have uh that's one thing about my channel i'm really showing case and what uh when you don't have the crickets or anything like that this can still be achieved i actually have my turner it just it's not leveled but this is what I created. I built this turner. Um, I think I talked about that in my last video. But I just want to show you um, that you don't have, it ha doesn't have to be expensive. This was just like $35 on Amazon. But yes, um, I don't have the Cricut. That was one of the pricier things. I just felt like I'm going to get it. But I had so much other stuff I knew I had to get. And it starts to get expensive when you want everything. And I, before I looked up, I'm spending money. And I'm looking like, dang, I don't even have one of the most important tools. It was making the letters and stuff. So I took some stickers that I got from Walmart. I got a bunch of different type of stickers from Walmart. You can get it from Family Dollar. Dollar Tree has a nice amount of... And they have like... A whole little section for us like they really trying to help our us tumbler makers so they have a lot a lot of nice stuff you know if you just take your imagination and go run with it you could definitely do something with those so yes I and they you can get cups if you want to practice on it best place to go is Dollar Tree but yes um with this cup um the my podge i really worked from the middle and tried to pull it all out and still went behind myself two times and layered on them edges to make sure i have it tacked down so and i tried to you know scrape it to see if it's anything lifted and did it again and again and so now i feel secure enough i let it sit for about i want to say 15 minutes and then I kept reapplying and let it sit another 15 minutes and kept reapplying it under my little fan that I have right here so yeah now it's on there it's still a little yeah it's not wet anymore just looks like it's wet uh so now I'm ready to put my uh pot my epoxy on it and see how it turns out um if you can, because everything is fixable. Every time I'm doing a cup, honestly, what I choose to do changes a little bit. So, I might be have one thought frame, and it, honestly, it does switch. You know, you, as you go, you start seeing little things, and you want to tweak it. So, I tweak it just a bit. But, yes, um, if it does lift, I've had one sticker or two once you lay the sticker down and then you want to move it because it's just look crooked and you won't stop messing with it i've had that you just have to add another layer of epoxy and it's always fixable so we're going to put our epoxy on and we're going to let it rotate and we're going to get to the final results all right so i got my part a and my part b right here I generally just mix it together like this. Pour it in there. Some people pour it in another thing if it's too full. But I just put it in here together. And dispose of the cup. Sometimes I clean it out though. I cleaned it with acetone. You want to make sure you scrape the sides so you get even parts. Get it all out.
Okay. Then you just stir that. Some people say don't stir too fast. You'll get too many bubbles. But it's up to you because it doesn't matter because you're going to get bubbles regardless. You stir it until you don't see it as cloudy anymore. That's when you know it's properly mixed. Now you make sure you scrape the sides and down at the bottom so you can get it all in there. It can cure right. Once you get it to a clear, then you can start applying it. It's not as uh, cloudy white anymore. Alright. Okay. This looks about good. I'm just going to use this brush just to smoothly apply it on here. No particular method, just putting it on, making sure it's on there evenly and it's not any like dry spots. If it feels rough, then it's not all the way on there. Make sure you get it all in there. And I put about two layers of epoxy. I put one layer of, uh, I do my podge first. Tacky my podge first. Add my glitter. Let it dry. And put a, uh. And this is the final result. So, this is the final result. After the third layer I add a one more layer um, and then I just let it spin took the tape off and it's been spinning for about two hours now and once it's done I'll let it sit and clean it up and after three days it should be good to go thank you so much for watching this channel thank you for watching my video please subscribe hit the bell notification for more videos because i have more coming and i will see you guys later thank you bye